In case you didn't know, Maker stands out as one of the largest and oldest DeFi lending protocols. In fact, Maker ranks number four when it comes in terms of total value locked in and was the first issuer of stablecoins. The DAI created by the Maker Protocol was the first collateral backed stablecoin to adapt and implement a decentralized model. While the stablecoin market booms and other titans of finance launch their own dollar peg tokens, Maker's DAI has lost some steam. Stuck with a supply of about 5 billion tokens, DAI has seen new fast growing stablecoins close the gap. Currently, Tether and Circle are extending their leads. But an ambitious and controversial overhaul proposed by Maker co founder Rune Christensen is just weeks away from its multi step rollout. Now, first proposed in 2022, the plan dubbed Endgame will feature a rebrand, new tokens, new ways to earn yield, so called sub DAOs, and artificial intelligence, all designed to invigorate MakerDAO, the lumbering cooperative that runs the Maker protocol. But they are also designed to make Maker and its new stablecoin mainstream. You see, the goal is to raise the DAI supply to 100 billion and beyond just shy of Tether's 116 billion. So today in this video, I want to give you some insight on MakerDAO latest news and why I believe that we can remain optimistic in 2024 and beyond. And as always, in case you're new to crypto, well then get yourself educated as fast as possible because this market is poised to take off. You see, it is with great conviction and hard work that I try to provide you top quality projects just like Maker. So hit the like, subscribe to the channel, join the live streams, they're gonna be on soon so that you can become among the top 1%. My name is Nico Arachi and I am a real investor. The live MKR price today is $1.96 and the current coin market cap ranking is number 46 with a live market cap of $1.8 billion. Trading at 69% below its all time high which was recorded on May 4th, 2021. Let's talk about Maker's rebrand. Endgame's launch season kicks off with Maker's rebranding and the release of a new stablecoin and governance token. Now these will be launched with a new mobile app a month later. Users can upgrade their DAI and Maker tokens to the new tokens in order to participate in yield farming. Users can earn interest on the new stablecoin via Maker's existing savings rate or in the form of governance tokens. Now, the most committed members of the cooperative can earn even greater rewards by keeping Maker or the new governance token locked on the platform. Rune, the MakerDAO's founder, has unveiled two new stablecoins, New Stable and Pure Die, as part of the endgame plan. So New Stable will be the main successor to Die, focused on growth, yield and resilience. It will take over the RWA aspect of MakerDAO, real world asset aspect of MakerDAO, and this is big, while remaining attached to Maker, and introduce a novel freeze function similar to other real world asset backed stablecoins. So users can opt to upgrade their DAI to new stable, although DAI will continue to operate as it is. A pure DAI aims to return to the project's decentralized roots using ETH and STETH as collateral. Pure DAI will have a genesis supply of 2 billion tokens distributed over five years. These new stablecoins are designed to reconcile the tension between utility and decentralization in the stablecoin sector. And what would it all be without artificial intelligence? So the final step in Endgame's plan is the launch of MakerDAO's first sub-DAO, which will oversee Spark, a lending protocol from Phoenix Labs led by Sam McPherson. And sub-DAOs are designed to reduce bureaucracy and volunteer burnout by delegating functions to smaller groups. Endgame also includes a big bet on artificial intelligence. Eventually, AI will be used to travel, make a DAO's forums, where members debate proposals and service providers share data and progress reports. Their hope is that AI will be able to distill activity on the forum and help members make informed decisions. Let's go AI. MakerDAO also launches Spark Tokenization Grand Prix for real-world asset integration. And as you may know, I'm a big believer when it comes to real-world assets migrating onto the blockchain. Now, the Spark Tokenization Grand Prix is a competition to integrate US dollar 1 billion tokenized real-world assets into MakerDAO. 
Open to innovators and issuers, the competition aims to shape the future of tokenized public securities in decentralized finance. Selected partners will receive up to 1 billion in liquidity with potential for further expansion post-launch of MegaDAO's endgame plan. And the evaluations will be conducted by big companies including Phoenix Labs and Steakhouse Financial. And finally, let's take a look at some future price predictions and see what the sentiment is like. And the first one comes from Wallet Invest, and they believe we're going to see a high in 2024 of $3,249 and $5,663 in 2025. The second one comes from Trading Beasts, and they're not as optimistic. They believe we're going to see a high in 2024 of $2,412 and 2715 in 2025. The last one comes from digitalcoin.com and they predict that the price will hit 3899 in 2024, 4596 in 2025. So before we end, my two cents on the dollar. First, just a piece of news. Megadow's quarterly revenue did hit an all-time high of 85 million. Obviously, that could boost some investor confidence. Now, having said that, I have always known that Maker has been one of the, let's say, the largest and first players when it comes to DeFi and cryptocurrency industry. However, I didn't use it myself a lot. Um, I didn't find it so appealing. And I guess this is why they are rebranding and relaunching themselves. So I guess the question remains, can Maker keep its position, especially with, let's say, traditional institutional finance that will ultimately migrate into the blockchain space. And I think that remains to be seen. I would put this as a bit slightly more risky than other uh, coins that, uh, that we are holding in our portfolio. And in case you want to know which ones, then you just go and look at our cryptocurrency portfolio updates. Anyway, everything I say and do should not be considered financial advice because as you know, in the end of the day, I don't know shit about crypto. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed. And in case you did, hit like, smash, subscribe and all them goodies. Come join the live streams. They're going to be on very, very soon. And don't forget, Kitty, she loves you.